Eurotrash presents cult icon and living legend Amanda Lear. Over the last quarter of a century, she's been a model, a singer, an author, friend to the stars, and a queen of queens. As a disco queen, <laughs> you, you started uh, to be like a gay icon. Well, basically, you must understand that I was uh, the queen of the disco, let's yeah. say, or disco queen. And the, the, the discotheque were really a gay phenomenon. Mm. And then, also, I think most of the gay boys uh, always fantasize on, on the girls they would like to be. Mm -hmm. And they like tough girls, mm -hmm. uh, you know, aggressive girls. They, they don't like girls with 25 babies, you know, they, they don't like that. They like the kind of girl that they would like to be. Would you like to be me? <laughs> Maybe yes! <laughs> Here it comes! Plenty of boys still want to be Amanda, as can be seen whenever she graces trendy gay clubs with her presence. Then there's the big question. Is she or isn't she? For years, rumours have been rife that Amanda is actually a man. TV or not TV? That is the question. And the story went around that Amanda Lee was perhaps a man, and that made me even more attractive. Mm -hmm. Because people thought, well, she's an exact interesting, you know, I mean, as a girl, well, she's not much, but as a man. And, and um, that's how it started. So is why maybe you did the photo in Playboy, you know, you posed nude. You don't like the kind of boy who read Playboy. Maybe Antoine. Does. What a surprise. <laughs> no, but there, I have some good friends that read it. So I did Playboy, I did I, um, for a lot of money. First, it was good money. I thought, it's a good photographer. Let's do it now while I'm still young and beautiful, so I'll have a good souvenir, you know, when I'm much older. It will be done in good taste. I'm not going to sit with my legs like yeah. that, you know. No, 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 that came later. <laughs> Amanda has always kept abreast of the times, and in the 1970s, she was regularly seen stepping out with the stars, including David Bowie and Brian Ferry, the ultimate male sex symbols of the period. Between Brian Ferry and uh, David Bowie, which one was the more? They are both Which one has the longest penis, for example? And, so <laughs> and when I met them, they were not married. Well, at least Brian was not married, and he's an absolutely charming boy. We stayed very good friends, and he was much too old for me anyway. <laughs> <laughs> that didn't stop her before. When she was the lover of surrealist painter Salvador Dali, she was young enough to be his granddaughter or grandson. Not that it matters either way. What a lucky girl I was to be able in the 60s to meet Salvador Dali. Everybody else was falling in love with Led Zeppelin or mm -hmm. Jimi Hendrix or whatever. And uh, I, I, I met Salvador Dali and that man changed my life. Did so, Salvador Dali uh, give you some uh, help some for like, because already well, yeah, you were I, painting? I was, when I you was at art school. When I met Dali, I was at mm -hmm. art school, you know, and I said to Dali, look, I'm at art school, I want to be a painter. And Dali said, look here, women have no talent, they cannot paint. Misogynist. And I said, what is it? I said, no, what is it? And uh, he said, no, no, because the talent is in the balls, so to say, you know, <laughs> testicles. Women have no testicles, so they have no talent. But you have talent uh, in and your painting. And I have no testicles. So <laughs> <laughs> oh, never mind the bollocks. Amanda is now the pan-European TV hostess with a mostess. She has chat shows in Italy, France and Germany. So how does she cram it all in? Can you give us uh, your secret, you know, of your philosophy of life? Um, philosophy of life? <sighs> <sighs> Positive thinking. I think um, I'm always looking forward for what hap can happen tomorrow. I know tomorrow I'm going to do great things, tomorrow I'm going to make a movie, I'm going to do a theatre, I'm, uh, tomorrow I'm going to meet a wonderful man and I look in the mirror and I say, facelift yet? No, not yet, <laughs> tomorrow. <laughs> Tonight, Amanda, a real pleasure. So I hope you have a good time, I had, and I hope to see you very soon. Mm, me too, darling. I thank you so much. Love to everyone. <laughs>